Hey, what is going on, fellow tubers? It's me again, Will 2000 here. Welcome back to another Godzilla tour review. Today, we'll be taking a look at the Bandai Mecha King Ghidorah. Now, Mecha King Ghidorah comes from the movie Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Why is he a cyborg? Well, in that movie, spoiler alert, King Ghidorah gets defeated, and Godzilla reigns supreme and continues to destroy Tokyo. And so, what the people of Japan do... They go into the future, of course, or at least one character, gets the remains of King Ghidorah, turn him into a cyborg, and now he's Mecha King Ghidorah. Check out the film if you want, and with the introduction out the way, let's get into the review. So once again, guys, similar to the King Ghidorah figure that I uh, reviewed, his point of articulation is only four, having the wings and both set of legs rotate in 360 degrees. And like I said before, this is pretty much standard for King Ghidorah, so I have no problem here as long as the heads or the necks are able to move like so to give the appearance that he kind of is moving. And with that, let's move on into detail. Taking a more in-depth look at Mecha King Ghidorah here, we'll start off with the heads. We can easily tell that the heads, or the eyes I should say, the eyes actually have slit pupils, not around. The teeth are better painted than the original King Ghidorah figure. Unfortunately, the tongue, well, is not, is not painted at all. And the overall golden scales are a completely different color, with the mechanical head being, well, new here. The wings are just absolutely fantastic. Put it in the comment section if you know who I'm referencing there. The metal part just looks amazing. I think this little part deserves to be a different color. I'm not entirely sure. We take a look at the bottom of the feet. Obvious that the nails are just not painted. Actually, the nails are not painted at all. We take a look. 1998. 1998. So this figure was also made in 1998. We take a look at the end of his tail. And the end of the tails look just amazing. Obviously, these have to be stuck together. Otherwise... The figure would just fall apart. Taking a look at the back of the figure. Now, this is a fantastic figure. I will have to I say myself. And just these little um, fun fact. These are what actually make Mecha King Ghidorah fly. Not his wings. But these, I forgot what they're called. Shutters, maybe? Um, these are pretty nicely done. However, once again, you can kind of see the lazy parts underneath there. But that's just nitpicks at that point. And with the detail out of the way, let's move on into the size comparison. Mecha King Ghidorah here is massive in both length and width. Width, he's about 10 and a half inches. And for length, he's actually six and a half inches. And if you put his metal head all the way up, he's seven and a half. So we'll be comparing him to, once again, the Bandai Godzilla. And as you can see, this actually looks still a little bit inaccurate. Now it's a little more accurate. And there we can see there. And comically, we're not going to be comparing him to the King Ghidorah, but we'll be comparing him to the Treadmaster's Mecha King Ghidorah. And we can see just how small he is compared to the big, massive Bandai King Ghidorah here. Also, there's a little foot mishap, but whatever. Let's move on. Overall, guys, this figure is just simply amazing. It's astounding detail. This this figure is just great with detail, points of articulation, and everything. Now, I understand everyone's wondering, well, what about that price? Well, the price is actually $30 on Amazon as of this video. Personally, I would prefer it to be $20, but like I said, $20 is kind of the minimum, and the maximum is the $30, is $30 for me anyway. $33 specifically is um the price on Amazon as of this video. So this figure will get a 5 out of 5. Highly recommend you purchase this figure. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Godzilla tour.